Let's talk about hard drives and RAM. These are two very important components inside of a computer that are often confused with one another. So let's see if we can clarify the difference and understand the purpose of each one. To start in very general terms, hard drives let your computer hold more stuff. Things like music, photos, videos, applications, etc. RAM, on the other hand, basically just makes your computer go faster. That's the simple version. To understand in a bit more detail, let's use an analogy. Let's say your computer is a workshop, and the CPU, which is the central processing unit, is the woodworker. To do any kind of work, he's going to need tools and supplies, and he's going to need some shelves to store all these tools and supplies. The shelves in a computer are like the hard drive. They provide lots of space to hold all sorts of items that he's going to want to use. In order to use them, though, he has to take them off of the shelf, and he needs a place to put them where they'll be right at his fingertips for easy access and immediate use. He needs a workbench. This workbench, in the case of a computer, is RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory. It provides a temporary place to store data while the CPU is working on it. So whenever you're working on something on a computer, whether it's editing a text document in a word processor or touching up a photo in an image editor, that item is first loaded into RAM. It's the computer's workbench. If your computer doesn't have very much RAM, it's like having a very small workbench. If this is the case, it really doesn't matter how skilled the worker is, he won't be able to work very quickly because he'll constantly be making trips back and forth from the shelves to get the items he needs to work. On the other hand, if your computer has a lot of RAM, it's like having a great big workbench. The worker can put everything he needs on it and won't have to make any trips to the shelf. It's important to know that items cannot be permanently stored in RAM. In fact, RAM is wiped clean as soon as the computer is turned off, so that's why it's important to save your documents, which is the equivalent of taking them from the workbench and putting them back on the shelves for storage. Now, the amount of RAM you will need to work efficiently depends on the type of work that you're doing. If you're mostly just using a word processor, you don't need a whole lot of RAM. But if you're editing large images or editing high-resolution video, you'll need quite a bit of RAM in order to work efficiently. Let's take a quick look now at some specific amounts of RAM and hard drive capacity so that you have an idea of what is a little, what is a lot, and how this has changed over time. If we look back to the mid-1990s, a typical computer had, on average, about 1 gigabyte of hard drive space and about 8 megabytes of RAM. 20 years later, those numbers had grown roughly 1,000-fold. So a typical computer in 2015 included about 1 terabyte of hard drive space and about 8 gigabytes of RAM. On top of that, the power of a typical CPU, which is the main processor chip in a computer, had also increased by about 1,000-fold. Interestingly, one area that hasn't increased by such a great margin is the speed of hard drives. Even though their storage has increased by a thousandfold, they can only read and write data about 30 times faster today than they could 20 years ago. It's actually this slow read and write speed of hard drives that most handicaps the performance of modern computers. Fortunately, there's a new technology that has emerged as a replacement for hard drives. It's called a solid-state drive, often abbreviated as SSD. It's called solid-state because, unlike a hard drive, it has no moving parts. These solid-state drives are able to read and write data about 10 times faster than hard drives. So replacing your hard drive with an SSD will give your computer a massive performance boost. That concludes this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you have a better understanding of hard drives, SSDs, and RAM.